Alright, so I just did a, a video on this bouncing effect, and uh, just to show you what that is, um, let's actually just show you that, comment that out. So if I show you what this looks like, right, I made this bouncing effect, okay, very cool. So I just, I was given a request uh, to draw, I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to try and do is where the line goes like like that, right? So uh, somebody said, can you draw audio lines? So I was thinking, well, let me see if I can draw lines at all. So I ended up, after a second, of getting this, which is really awesome. So now I actually can draw out the animation that I'm doing. Uh, basically, here's how I'm doing it. In this bounce left, I'm setting a draw in, global draw int to an interval that just calls a function called draw line, and it's every 10 milliseconds it's calling it. Again, global, okay, because... Uh, later on, I need to, w when the animation is over, so right here, I'm doing a callback in the animate function to clear that interval. Okay, actually, it, it doesn't really need to be global. So, we can actually do that. And I think that should still work. Yeah, check that out, and hopefully it'll stop. Yeah, it stopped. Okay, great. So, it doesn't need to be global. But what does need to be global is content box. Content box is the is is this box right here. That is global. Um, it wasn't global before, but now when I'm creating it right here, I'm not creating it with a var. That is created out here. So var content box and var. So now that can be gone. The reason this is global is because this function, um, instead of worrying about passing in, I, I, you know, maybe I can figure it out. But it's easier just to make it global. Um, if content box exists. Grab the absolute x position, the absolute y position, create a div, give it a class, which is just a white pic a white two pixel by two pixel box. Set the CSS of that. Again, it's fixed position, so it'll be wherever the dot is, and then add it to the document. It's pretty simple. All it does is check where the position of this is as it goes, and then just put the dot there. So it's actually pretty cool. I'll just show you it one more time right there. So now I'll be able to track all the animations that I do. Very cool.